What's up YouTube? I just got this new Mac yesterday. It's basically a 15 inch 2.2 gigahertz with high resolution anti-glare screen, 750 gigs of hard disk and 1 gigs of dedicated graphics, ATI. Now I did the time machine backup. I have done some basic settings, installed some basic applications like Google Chrome and and player and all. Now I saw last night I had some updates to do. So I didn't do it last night because I was calibrating the battery basically last night. Basically just do, gonna do the updates. I'm gonna show you what are the updates I have available as of now. It's checking for some new software. Let's see what updates does it show. Okay so software updates are available for your computer. Do you want to download and install them? I want to but before that I want to show the details now these are the updates airport utility 5.5.3 12.3 MB it says it resolves I'll just zoom in it says it resolves an issue that caused the airport utility to unexpectedly quit during setup I don't use airport utility I think so I'm not sure um, I photo yeah I use it now this update fixes a problem that could cause some events merged in iPhoto to be split back to multiple events on iOS devices after being synced. As of now, I don't have any iOS device. The only Apple product I'm using is MacBook. MacBook Pro. Pro Kit update. Okay, this looks like this has all to do with okay yeah it says font smoothing and popover style tooltips so yes I'm gonna do this update Mac OS X update one of the most important updates that is set to have been released before the lion is released I mean before the 10.7 is released this is the one set to have been one of the last update however there are predictions there would be one more update before the lion is released and that would be 10.6.9 so I'm not really sure if that's gonna be true or not but let's see so this update basically it enhances the Mac App Store to get your Mac ready for upgrade to Mac OS X Lion as I said it resolves an issue that may cause preview to unexpectedly quit I haven't seen that still and basically I've just got this laptop yesterday now it improves the support for IPv6 whatever I don't think I use it uh, it improves VPN reliability reliability I don't use VPN as of now although I'll be using it in future and it identifies and removes known variants of Mac Defender I heard about this Mac Defender almost a month back and people were facing some troubles with it I mean there was some viruses some spywares popping in your computer so now this is digital camera raw compatibility update okay and iTunes the latest version and Java that's it guys so I'm just gonna uh, first of all let it download because it's heavy in size um, this looks like these three updates Mac OS is great iTunes and Java it looks like they're gonna take some time so I'm just gonna let it download first and then get back to you guys once I have updated it. Okay guys, thanks. Okay guys, it looks like the downloading is just about to finish. It's running fast enough. I have 10 MPs at home. Okay, it's done. Now it's asking me to restart the computer so of course I have to restart the computer okay, I'm sorry guys the recording is not that clear because I'm actually recording it through my mobile I don't have a that good camera on my mobile it looks like although it's 5 megapixels okay forget about the mobile it's basically showing installing 7 items writing files so it's just the basic installation that is going on okay guys the update is done and now if I see about this Mac it says 10.6.8 so it is the latest version I have as of now I mean 
not I have, but which is available as of now to us, the normal users. I'm not talking about the developers because I know developers have the beta versions of Lion. So this is it guys, the update is done. Uh, there comes a notification that it's again checking for some new software. The update just finished, the computer just restarted. Now it's automatically checking for any new software is still remaining to be updated. I'll be back and show you if it shows any software. Okay, now this is the Thunderbolt firmware update. Okay, I don't have any Thunderbolt devices, but because it's a firmware update and I don't want it to clash with any other firmware inside my laptop, I will update it. So I'm going to install it once again. I reckon if it's again going to restart my laptop, but if it does, I'll be back once that is done. Okay, all updates done. It's lo It looks like that now. The computer has just restarted. The updates were really, really fast. Could be because I had a good internet connection, but otherwise, when it came to restarting the laptop and installing the updates, it was really fast. And that could be again because my hard drive, the Macintosh hard drive of my laptop is completely empty. There are no big applications other than the pre-installed applications I got from Apple. It's just a few applications I have installed like Chrome and Mplayer and all that. So yeah, it was really fast and quick. Just let's just run the you know software update once again and just make sure that we don't have any more you know updates. No more updates guys, no more updates whatsoever. It says your software is up to date. So that's it. If I zoom in, software update doesn't have any new software for your computer at this time. So quit. That's it. All the updates done. So this was about the updates to a new MacBook Pro I have purchased just yesterday and received it. I mean, I purchased on 20th of June and received it yesterday, basically. All right, guys, I'll keep posting other videos. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. And please do like it if you do like it, right? Thank you.